Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. We wanted to call you to say thank you. Dinner was fantastic. Tell you what, that Gary's a heck of a host. The guy really puts you at ease. Yeah, well, you know what, you guys, we, uh, we just, uh, we just broke up. Howard, turn the car around. Brooke, take half a Xanax. We're coming to get you. Please. No, you're not coming to get me. I'm absolutely fine. Don't you don't me. We're going to pick you up. We're going to go home. You're going to sleep in your own bed. My own bed is here, Mom. Oh, Andy, just hold on a second. It's your brother. Please don't say anything. Mom, just don't say anything. Please. Well, of course not. I'm not going to say anything. It's none of my business. Brooke and Gary broke up. I'll, I'll call you back. Don't tell him I told you. Now, tell me exactly what happened. I don't, you know, he doesn't listen. He doesn't participate. He doesn't do anything. Okay, okay. I asked Calm him to do one thing down. and he didn't do it. Calm down. Mom, okay. That's Richard. What did you tell him? Well, I just told him that uh, you were really depressed and uh, I think it had something to do with Gary and I, I wasn't sure whether you were still together, but it's your story to tell. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Bye. I have a Xanax. Hello? At first you were afraid. You were petrified. Richard. You kept thinking how you'd never live without him by your side. Right you spent so many nights thinking how he'd done you wrong. You grew strong. You learned how to get along. And now you're back. From outer space. You just walked in and there he was. I got another call. I got look upon his face. Hello? Your mom called. Are you okay? How are you? Please? I don't know anybody by that name. He told right? me specifically to ask for the guy. Hold with on, the... just one second, all right? He told me specifically to ask for the guy with the clipboard. How you guys the, doing? The guy with the... Good to see you, my man. You too, man. Come on, have a good time in there. I'm hey, supposed to be coming in the club have as well. Time. Sir, if you just look on you the list. You have to wait in line. I, right? I promise you, if you look on the list under the name. Tony, I got a situation here. Oh, there's not a situation. I don't have oh, a situation. Really? No, yeah, I don't have a situation. Oh, there's no situation. Have a... My man, what's going on? You know this guy? Yeah, this is my brother Gary. This is Big A. You should have said you with LG. Yeah. Hey, come on in. Let's have a good time. But you like your sex real simple, yeah? This you, me, and a nice hard surface. I tell you what, I'm gonna hang out with my brother for a but what do you say we get out of here and fry us up a pajama, huh? A what? A pajama. Your brother's an asshole. <laughs> what the hell was that? What? what the hell was that? Now I know she would have been a waste of my time and I could name my shotgun the next bird. You taught me that. Do you remember that? No, I taught you to give him some shit without crossing the line, to make some jokes, have him laugh. Oh, God, with the jokes, always with the jokes, Gary. It's not how it works anymore, babe. I'm gonna go take a lap. Excuse me, can I get a red button vodka for the lady, please? That's 15 bucks, bro. Here you go, keep the change. That's for you. Cheers to you. Do you know why we clink glasses? No, why? Well, there's a couple of different theories. One starts off with the Knights of the Round Table. Uh, to prevent people from poisoning each other, they would start off every meeting by clinking their overflowing goblets so that wine would spill into Everyone else is goblet, so you can't really poison someone. I like that one as well, but my favorite of all the theories comes from the Japanese. <laughs> uh, they believe that drinking should be a completely sensual experience. There's sight, smell, there's touch, taste, which only leaves sound. Mm. Hence the click. Ah. <laughs> you ready for a man to get up on you? Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much for the drink. You're such a funny guy. You know, the story about the goblets was fascinating. Who 
here to tell me what supposedly started the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. A cow! That's absolutely correct, sir. To the victor goes the spoils. All right, good hands on you, great. Oh, up here is the Maryland Dean Gallery. This here is the type of place that you might spot an attractive girl. You might even spot that girl at Wrigley Field one day and ask that same girl out for a drink and hell, maybe she says yes. Maybe you even fall in love with each other and decide to move in with one another only to find out that she is completely off the reservation. Then maybe she'll go ahead and kick you off her bowling team and have you voted off in front of a whole bunch of people and be humiliated. Then have her brother come over, who's technically not gay, but is in an all-male a cappella singing group and a wolf in sheep's clothing to kick your ass. When you think that you're supposed to have a conversation, you wake up, you've been hit in the face five, six, seven, eight times before you even knew the goddamn fight started. And this psychopath decides to wake you up by singing in his little a cappella group, although totally not gay, and light you up in the face and then do a weird thing to your stomach. And if you get a chance to experience that while you're here in the city of Broad Shoulders, then God damn it, do it, because it is awesome. Up here are some of the best ribs in the city. I love to go in there and have some slaw and a snack. It is enjoyable. Thank you. Next. Conscious loving. That's actually for a friend of mine who's in a tough spot. You can gift wrap that. It's a gift. All right. And the joy of cooking. Can you gift wrap those? Both of those, please. The sure. cooking and the um, feelings book Absolutely. to be gift wrapped for my for my pal. 46. Hopefully this will stop the late night phone calls and uh, me having to talk him down from the ledge. Greg, this is Gary. Great to meet you, Glenn. Nice to meet you, too. You look great. So do you. The hair is a little different. Looks good. Thanks. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Brooke, this is Becca. Becca, this is Brooke. I've heard so much about you. Good things. <laughs> yeah. I heard your trip was incredible. Oh, it was. It was it was great. And I keep meaning to come by and take a ride on the boat. Anytime you want. On the house, come on by. Oh, well, I will then. I hope you do. Definitely. It's nice seeing you. Good to see you. I see you. Nice to meet you.
the lovers, the dreamers.